War of the Roses. And what's going on with, with Todd? We've been together for a year. We went to a Halloween party, um, and I was the Khaleesi, and he was Jon Snow, and Ooh. everyone loved it, had a great time, got great reactions. Uh, but while we were at the party, something happened that made me really uncomfortable. Uh, mm. At one point, he walked away, and he left his phone on the table where I was, and his phone went off, and I looked down, and it's a Tinder alert. Ooh. Um, mind you, this is my boyfriend of a year. Okay, not one month, not uh, a week, a year. And you so guys why are exclusive. Do you even have Tinder on your phone. Well, that's my question. Are you guys exclusive? I mean, after a year, Absolutely. you would think so, but Absolutely. Yeah, this is definitely an established, it's not a, a, a new relationship. So there's mm. no reason that he even has a Tinder app on his phone, let alone it giving him notifications. Right. Um, and so when he came back, I confronted him about it. And, you know, a lot of stuttering and his, his explanations and, oh, it was just an app that was there and I've, I've never taken it down. I've never taken it off. Um, so I really wasn't buying it, but fine. And then suddenly we're dancing. We're having a good time. I go get something to drink and he just goes missing all of a sudden. I turn around and he's gone and I look outside and he's on the phone. Did it look like he was arguing with somebody or like, you know, normal, sweet talking? Like, And whoever it was, he was engaged. I wouldn't say I can tell it was an argument or whatever it was. He was definitely engaged with who it was, you know, and he, he was outside for an entire 10 minutes. OK, but here's the thing with with Tinder. If you don't use it and you're not matching with people. Then people you won't, won't get an alert. Yeah, people right? won't match with you, and you won't get an alert. So that means he had to have opened up the app recently, matched with someone, Ooh. or he swiped he swiped right with someone, and then boom, there was the match, and that's how he got the alert. So I'm seeing holes all, all gotcha. through this. I, I, Todd's lying to you, and it's how I feel. Hold on a second. Don't say anything until we find out what he puts on the card if he doesn't send it to you. Okay. Okay. Hello. Hi, I'm looking for Todd, please. This is he. Hey, Todd. My name's Kylie. I'm calling from Flowers for You. I have your name and number here as a winner of our Insta tag contest. One of your friends tagged you in our post, and we randomly selected you to get a hundred dollars in beautiful free red roses. <laughs> that's that's a gift. Uh, okay. Yeah. So we just asked that you tell somebody about our services. <laughs> Do you have okay. someone in mind that you'd like to send these to? Uh, I do, actually. All right. Hang on um, one second. I would second. like to send them to you. Okay. Okay. All right. Um, I have the card ready. Who would you like to send them to? I would like to send them to Christine. And, and that's with a K. Okay. And, and uh, can I add a little note to it? Yes. I have a card, um, and it'll be in the beautiful roses. So what would you like to put on that? Uh, I would like to say that hopefully this is a sign of things to come. And I look forward to seeing you soon. Oh, that's sweet. Is this a new relationship? I, I, you know, I don't really know if it's a really, it's like a first, it's a first meeting. So hopefully it'll be a, a series of many meetings. Are you serious, Todd? Oh my God. Christine. Uh, Todd, this is Kiss 95.1. You're on oh. the morning, uh, the Mania Roy and Loren morning show. Have you ever heard of uh, War of the Roses? Yes. Yes, I have. Well, that was Loren then. <laughs> really? Oh, my God. How dare you? I asked you about that. T- I knew it at that Halloween party oh. that we went to. I knew it. That Tinder yes, notification. Come on. Was that Christine? We, we, we didn't have fun at the Halloween party. We mm. haven't had fun in a while. I thought we had a great time. There's, there's no easy way to... Yes, because it's always about you. We, we, we don't have anything in common. You just talk about oh. you constantly. And so this... I, I don't know. Like, this was... I was just going to meet with Christine. Why couldn't to you see, tell the like, truth at the party? Sure. Because like so many people were there, I just it, it, it should have been a conversation alone. Well, yeah, I but I, you're the the balls in your court at that point. You should be the one to start that conversation. Uh, we we've had <sighs> we've we've wow. tried to talk about it before, and I always give Anne the benefit of the doubt, and then we we say that we're going to talk about it again, and then we don't because like we might have. We've like, been one together for moment. a year. A year. You you didn't find any time in a whole year to tell me anything? A year? It's not like, like we're engaged. One year. <laughs> like, <sighs> I can't. Oh. 
All I, right. I don't know. You're still pretty long, bud. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I mean, if you didn't think things were going well, you should have broke up with her. You know that, Todd. And I mean, to be on Tinder and to, and I mean, in front of your girlfriend, dressed as Jon Snow, that's not very Jon Snow like. <laughs> <laughs> well, fair you're lucky enough, she's not the real Khaleesi. She'd then probably send record, her dragons you after you. You were the worst John Snow anybody's ever seen, for the record. Maybe that's why I had so much fun at the party. I was the only one who looked great. Everyone was talking to me, not you. All well, right. Well, then it shouldn't be any problem for you to find another date then. Whoa. Oh, my All gosh. Right, they you are too. Throwing... And you know what? I'll do that. All right, Todd, Rose. there's no roses, and we're sorry that you found out this way, but that's what War of the Roses does. It gets you an answer that you're looking for, okay? At least I know. Right. Think your mate is messing around? 